this week's vlog. I'm in quite a bit of a rush because I'm late. Um, I wanted to cook breakfast, so I'm now late. Um, I'm just going to get Casper. I'm gonna have to give him a quick bath because even though it's just a hands trial, he is disgusting, which is kind of when I want a bay. So I could just give him a brush then, but no. Um, yeah, and I want to be leaving in like 45 minutes. So Michael's just hitching up the trailer and getting my tack in the car. And I am going to get Casper. It's just over there. Um, yeah, so I better get a move on. Oh, haven't actually, have I said what I'm doing today? I don't know, we're going to Solihull to do the 90 centimetre hunter trial because we're doing our first one day event. Our first 90 centimetre one day event there in two weeks time. Um, so I thought this would be quite good practice because I know they have a trainer. Um, and he only jumped, he jumped one at the team chase, but it was tiny and it wasn't like a purpose built ditch with sides. It was just, hey Gatsby. It was just like a, a natural ditch. Um, and he jumped it absolutely fine, obviously following another horse. Um, if you wanna watch that vlog, I will put the link in the description if I remember. Um, Cause that was good fun. Good boy, come in. Um, good boy. Yeah, so he's jumped. He jumped that chicana, and he's jumped one out cross country schooling our first time. But he did refuse it at first because, well, I wasn't expecting a ditch underneath it. <laughs> Neither was Casper. I just saw a log in the hedgerow and was like, right, I'll go and jump that to get to the other side. Um, and yeah, we sort of cantered up to it and then very slowly came to a halt. Again, you can watch that one. Come on, Cass. Um, on my channel. <laughs> and you can see how much of a pathetic stop it is. I reckon if I was actually riding, he would have just popped it easy. But yeah, he's, because he is a bit iffy about ditches. He's just, doesn't like them. Um, but he's jumped the two here. Um, yeah, he jumped that chicane out. Team chasing literally didn't even back off it but obviously was following Bruce. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we'll... So yeah, my plan is to try and get around the course that we're gonna do in two weeks time because that's gonna be the Riding Club Chance Qualifier. So I'd quite like to do quite well. Um, so yeah, that's the plan of today. And now I've got to hurry in and get him tucked up. God, this is a hurting my arm. So see you guys, not tucked up. See you guys when he's clean. Bath. And even though it's like 15 degrees out there, he was shaking. So he's got his rug on for a couple of minutes whilst I sort everything else out. Silly boy, aren't you? We only have one falling out, which is quite impressive really, isn't it? He hates me doing it around his ears. And he always snaps the string, which is very frustrating. But all clean, or well, as clean as he needs to be for a ah, gasp for a hunter trial. I didn't touch his mane though. I'm just about to start walking the course and we're the biggest today but number four is the trachina and I'd really like to get further than four let's go dog kennel on ditch that sounds terrifying okay let's go who's got oh well then yeah let's go puppies oh well, I'm guessing oh, there's the start box number one that's very nice not too big Number two, a nice palisade. Got the novice, it's huge. Yeah. Should be all right. Smaller on the right hand side, just saying. Whoa, Maple, no, no, that was not the plan. Michael, can you hold the dogs, please? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't actually fit around it. Oh shit, they're jumping this. <laughs> Oh, number three is tiny. That to the Dracaena. Mm. Oh, it is. We're sharing it with the 80. Three. Nice and easy. To the Dracaena over there, but yeah, to be fair, we are jumping the 80s Dracaena, not the 90s. Um, which I suppose, I suppose is good for uh, practice for Casper, but next time, I believe, we'll be doing the second one to the left. 
Mm. Yeah, not really a chicana to be honest. So he'll jump that one absolutely fine. <laughs> that one, I, to be fair, I think he'd jump that one anyway. Fine. Because it's got plants growing in it. It's not a very ditchy one. Ooh! Ouchies! How do we get round? Anyway. Well, because it's got woodworm. Yeah, anyway, over to number five over there. But yeah, confident he'll go over that easy. And I don't want to be <laughs> regretting my words, but I think he will. Oh God, look at dogs. <laughs> oh, he just jumped it. Number five, again, nice and easy, shared with the 80, so it's good. Number six, it's not too bad. It is quite wide, but it's not awful. And then I'm guessing number seven is those flags on the hedge. Or behind the hedge. Number seven. It's quite nice. Not too bad. Oh, that's a 100, but the mim clips are down. The mim clips are off it. I know, we're not cool enough. So number eight. A. Oh, I think there's a ditch. So, A, and then quite a good turn to B. Dogs. Here, go quite angled, I reckon. Get to this side, and then set them up for B. That's not too bad, actually. Um, that's my 12 over there, so I'm guessing we go through the hedge. Yeah, that's not, not too bad. Ooh. Interesting jumps there. Number nine. Again, nice and simple. Number ten. Which is pretty small. Share with the 80 again. <laughs> I don't feel like we're getting very good practice at our 90 cross country because half the fences have been shared with the 80, but oh well, Number that one's 11. Up. It's quite nice. One extra bit sticking out, which should help him take off a bit further away. Quite wide, not too bad. Just got to make sure I don't go over either two of these jumps afterwards. Number 12, probably I'd say looks the biggest so far on course. Quite big. There's nice sloping, big. big. And we've got this thing. It looks interesting. This is the dog kennel on the ditch. Which actually isn't too bad. It's quite big. There's quite a big ditch on it. <laughs> Hopefully Casper won't look at that. And that's not bad once you've gone up the height of the gravel. And fly, hopefully. Yeah, quite a big ditch. Oh, oh, Millie didn't quite make it. Yeah, forward leg on over that one. And up there, I'm guessing. Nice and easy. And I believe it's the water jump. Nice and easy jump into the water. And then the last jump is the blue boats there. Very nice. Last jump. Hopefully we'll be clear and fly over this. I would imagine it doesn't look too complicated. Hopefully those aren't my famous last words, but yeah, that's quite nice. Odd, but quite nice. And the finished flag's just there. So let's just go and stud up now. Not yet. Um, all ready to go. Casper's actually looking really sleepy. Um, yeah, hopefully he'll do it easy. Hey, Mr. Man. Although I have to remember it's only like his fifth time ever seeing cross country fences, I think. Two events, sixth time. Yeah, so fingers crossed, hey Casper, you big boy.
all done. God, I'm sweaty. <laughs> um, all done. We went clear. It was, I want to say an easy clear, but not a very smooth or stylish clear is probably how I would describe it. Good guess. Um, yeah, he didn't, once he got in the swing of things, he was jumping really nicely. And the height was definitely no issue at all. Um, the combination, there was only one combination, I think. Yeah, the one combination of the two sort of hanging log type things was absolutely fine. Um, yeah, so he flew round it. Apparently, I think we were quite fast. We caught up the person, well, not quite caught up the person in front, but we certainly weren't the two minutes behind that we should have been. Um, but yeah, he was such a good boy. Um, a little sweaty, so I'm going to do a bit of fitness work before we're back here in two weeks for the one day event. Um, I'm super pleased with him. He's been washed off, had his boots off, now having a bite to eat. We're going to go to the shop, I think. I need to take his studs out, go to the shop, go to the cafe. But yeah, super, super pleased with him. Just about to go home. Just got some, ooh, nearly dropped my phone, cheesy chips. Um, supposedly... I was 30 seconds too slow, but considering we almost caught up the person in front of me and I had one of the slowest times on the board, I think that was incorrect, but I can't be bothered to fight. So, and wasn't wearing a stopwatch because we weren't allowed. So we'll take it. But yeah, I don't believe that he was 30 <laughs> seconds too slow, um, but very pleased with him. Um, and now we're just going to go home. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. See so I'm just out hacking on Casper, well, a very, very, very quiet country lane. Um, but I thought I'd just share that I looked at the results online yesterday and they completely changed it around. So I actually went 30 seconds too fast. Um, I think basically when they put the scores up at the event, they put the times from fastest to slowest, but they'd not changed the names so the names were in the original place on the time start if that makes sense on your like start list but the times were in fastest to quickest so they updated that when they put it online and yeah i was 30 seconds too fast which makes a lot more sense um i worked it out and he actually did 500 meters a minute which is in between 100 and novice speed <laughs> Um, so good to know he could do that and he could probably do novice quite easily as well um, Yeah, that was good to know and makes a lot more sense than him being 30 seconds too slow um, So that's all good And yeah, really really pleased with him. Don't know if I really said much about my round um, There's actually a car coming so yeah, I'm not sure if I actually said much about my round um, on the day but yeah, I'm super, super pleased with him. He made the height feel so easy, like didn't touch anything, was jumping it all so nicely. Um, but he did have his baby moments. He um, was wiggly into them, a few of them. If he wasn't sure about whether he wanted to jump it, he'd sort of, he'd back off and he'd need, um, security from me to say no go on we do want to do it and then he could go oh, okay so it wasn't like i mean you'll see on the second fence he really wiggled into that one and would have much rather jumped the 80 not the 90 um but i did sort of yank him back over to the 90 side and he jumped it really nicely um so there were a few kind of like that just wiggly and unsure and just needed reassurance um, that I did, I did want to, to go over it and I wasn't being crazy. Um, but yeah, he jumped the ball really, really well. Um, so super, super pleased with him. We are going to Devon on Wednesday. So I'll do a vlog down there. I don't know what of yet. We also have the saddler coming on Wednesday to hopefully fit my old saddle back on him, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, I'll do something in Devon for the next vlog. So yeah, this is a bit of a add-in for you guys because I think I've already signed off. But hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog and see you next time.